Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here. Uh, I thought I'd do another video uh, showing how I've, far I've come with the uh, synthesizer project I've been working on. Uh, so the first thing I've done is I broke it off the Arduino. So now it's on its own board. I got my parts in and I was able to make this filter, which I'll talk about in a bit. Uh, I got the buttons and I added an old LCD screen I had lying around to give output because I had originally planned to do a nice LED output with a, sh a binary counter, not a binary, a decade counter, but that was a lot of I.O. and a lot of LEDs and a lot of wires and I, this is simpler. Okay, so, oh, and I don't have a MIDI keyboard yet. My final goal is to have an actual MIDI input. So in the meantime, I've got this USB mini keyboard running to my uh, laptop, which is running conversion software, which takes the MIDI input from the USB keyboard, strips it all out, and then sends it to this over serial, so, which is this wire right here. Okay, so this filter over here, I mentioned last time that it was necessary to remove that carry frequency. That's what this is. It's three capacitors, two resistors, and a couple of inductors. This is a first order Chebyshev filter, low pass, I think operating at 12 kilohertz. That sounds right. So that's able to remove the carrier wave, and what you're left with is the actual, so uh, not, well, actual wave. So I've got a couple, as you can see, I can now display all of it. So sine wave, triangle, left saw, right saw. You've got to tweak the debouncing a bit, square. I have a square wave now flat noise which needs to be tweaked again. Uh, I'm still waiting on some potentiometers to come in so I can finish this up but if I play a bit so it's able to take the keyboard input turn that up a bit so it's able to take the keyboard input and process it and play it. So I can mix So, sounds pretty good, and I'm actually kind of impressed at how low it can go in the frequency range. So, really uh, cool. I've also added a bank system so that I can save this, I can save a preset and then come back to it. Uh, it's... It's not hooked up at the moment, but as you can see, it says bank one here. This thing will hold five presets, and you can save and scroll through it. Uh, it also has scent control, phase control, and octave control. Right now, I've got it hooked up or set up with a five scent shift, no phase shift, and no octave shift. So, yeah. So... Hopefully the next time I show this to you, I will have those potentiometers, and it'll be in a nice case, and I'll be able to give you a final presentation, uh, and I'll actually show you how I built all this and all the code. So until then, I'm Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.